Welcome back guys. I ended up uh, filming, putting the heads on and everything and I lost a lot of that footage. So yeah, they're already on there. Uh, this is just sitting on here and same with the valve covers. They're just sitting on there because I wanted to see, kind of get a mental picture of what it all looked like. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, one thing I do need to do is clean up this garage. If you look around, it's a mess. Uh, and in order to do that, this table needs to get cleaned up, but it has a lot of the stuff for this engine on it. So I need to get to putting this engine back together so that way I can clean up this garage and organize it. It's kind of giving me anxiety coming in here because you got to watch for your step and bumping into stuff and all that. So I'm going to finish putting the intake on, the valve covers, fuel rails, all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, button this engine up so then it'll be ready to go when we're ready to swap it in. So that's what you'll be seeing. Like I said, I already did the heads. I have some footage of it, but a lot of it got lost. So basically those are already on. So that's why you're not seeing me put those on. So next thing we gotta do, I'm gonna change uh, these O-rings out on the injectors. And then I can get that rail back up here so then I can get the rest of the intake on. So that's where we're going. Right on, so we got all the new gaskets on these. Now we're gonna start just popping them in place here. And then we'll get the fuel rail sitting on top of there.
as you watched me put that on and take it back off, I remembered, oh yeah, I gotta put the valve covers on. And in order to do that, I gotta get the cam gears back on because I have to be able to spin the cams to get it back in time. So that's what I'm actually gonna be doing now. And then I'll get that putting back on there. We're making some headway. We got a valve covers, our valve head back on. Uh, I believe we got everything in time. Right here. Got marks lining up. I was just replacing the crank position sensor. I ordered a camshaft position sensor, but I ordered the wrong one. So I'm gonna have to return that. I'm gonna put the cover and everything back on for now, just so for uh, picture purposes, I can have the engine look like it's complete. Um, yeah, so we got the water pump, the new pulley, or freaking roller deals there. All that stuff back on. So now, let's basically put the valve covers on and that intake and she'll be ready to swap in once I get that cam position sensor. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Continue on. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. This valve cover on kind of scratched it up so that kind of sucks but luckily i got more of that paint so um i had to change these the new kit comes with new little seals here and the seals that go around the spark plug tubes are these right here i changed them out on that one already obviously but I'll walk you through it on this one, and then I got the new valve cover gasket put in there. It's 
sound right, boy. sound right boy get um like I said I still have to put the cam sensor in and then I'm actually gonna have to pull this back off because there's wiring that for the injectors on both sides and other little stuff I just wanted to see how it looked honestly <laughs> tell you the truth I'm pretty happy with it so thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, we'll get into the wiring next and that'll be the next big update.